Hello friends, this is Amit Ranjan and you are watching your favorite channel Java Mitra. So this is the uh, next part, part 9 for JTable video series. In the previous section I have talked about to create design with a frame and two panel in the south region for entry and for button panel and in the central region I have added a J table. Uh, in the previous video I have made this GUI and, and display the table in the central region from database. Let us see the program by execution. So this is the program uh, after execution that I have got all the data from my database. And now I want to do that if I select some row, the data of this row will go in corresponding text fields. So let us work on how to get the data from table to the text field when a user click particular row. So for this purpose, we have to add listeners. So I'm going to add a method add listeners and creating a add listeners method for this purpose. So first of all, we need a uh, mouse listener for table so that if a user select particular row the data of corresponding field will be sent to the text field so let us go to add a uh, mouse listener on table now override the mouse clicked method now to get the row index we will call get selected row method on table object so in this way we have our row index and now we can set the corresponding text field with the data from table like txt row all dot set text and then table dot get value at row index comma zero dot two string so at the rowth index and zeroth column we will get a value and convert it into a string and then set into the txt row all field and similarly i will fill all the text field so in this way if user will select uh, any row in table we will uh, get the data of that row into corresponding text field easily so let us test the program we can see here that our corresponding data are set into their text fields. So let us uh, work for insert button. Then implement the method and the method public wide action performed. then I will create a method as insert data initially I am keeping it false and if insert data returns true then I will add a row in the table so I will pass a data array in insert data method and if it returns true then I will add the data array into our tables row now let us uh, add a try block to uh, to use for firing insert query so let us uh, check whether our connection object is created or not and then call the create connection now insert into table name with field raw name faculty and then values Question mark. Now let us set the corresponding values. First one is doll, so I need to uh, convert it into integer. The second one is string name, and third one is for faculty. So now let us fire the query using execute update method. So now, if the execution is successful, the I must have the value one because it returns the number of affected rows so we can check if i is equal to 1 then return true so in this way if 
instruction is successful it will return true and on the basis of the value returned by insert data method we will add a row in our data table model so let us check the program just add a row here Press insert. There is an index out of bounds exception occur here. So let us check what is the problem our program has. Yeah, there is a problem here. Instead of two, I have typed three. So there is an error in query. The field name is std name. The closing parenthesis is missing here. Let us try to insert. and successfully we have uh, added this if it is really inserted into database then if i will run this program once again i will see that there is a row with row number four so let us rerun the program to check that whether i have successfully inserted our data or not so we see here that we have the row number six here and which is coming from the database so let us uh, work on delete button for this I have to add an action listener for button delete. Now let us get the row index that user want to delete. And now I will add a method to delete one row. So I am calling this method as delete row by id and then pass the So in this way if this delete row by id method will return true then i will remove the row from the data table model let us add the method delete row by id table name where raw is equal to class raw and if i has the value 1 then return true and on the basis of the returning value i will remove the row from the data table model so let us test this program suppose i want to delete the last one the raw number 6 pressing the delete button and the row from the table is gone so let us check by rerun that whether the row is really uh, removed from the database. And on rerun we see that the candidate with roll number 6 is absent in our table. So let us work on update button. I am leaving the implementation on button update for you guys. Just define this a listener for button update and work yourself that how to modify a tuple a row in table as well as in database so this is in your hand to implement in the next video i will show how to modify and one more button i have and i have to do something for it so in this way our program is completed with all the buttons working and i have left the update buttons implementation for you guys so let us see if i will select a row it will be displayed in corresponding text fields if i will add one row then it will be added into our table if i will try to delete I can delete data from the table as well as from, from the database and to make this text field empty I can use reset button. In this program I have left a lot of things for you to work like I have not closed the connection after termination of program and uh, I, I did, do not have handled runtime exceptions like number format exception so you guys are responsible to implement those exceptions by yourself thanks for watching the video and if you are uh, really trying i guess 
you will succeed to implement the listener for update button but if anyhow you fail please visit my next video in which i will show that how can we uh, modify the data in table as well as in our database till then take care thank you